Fact, Groovy. Got it all. Got it. Report following the deadly bombing in Istanbul. So we got uh, just the news and weather, and then you can hear everything, right? I can hear everything, after the and it Istanbul sounds Istanbul airport smooth. terror attack. And that's cool. Although there's no specific threat, everyone is on a heightened state of vigilance. The SFPD has increased patrols in and around the airport. They'll also be speeding up curbside drop-offs and pickups outside terminals. Istanbul's Ataturk Airport is open for travel today following the terrorist attack that killed over 40 people. Some South Bay residents are turning up their noses at the smelly tap water. The Santa Clara Valley Water District says the dirt-like odor that folks in Milpitas, San Jose, and Mountain View are experiencing is from algae, but it's the non-toxic kind and it's safe to drink. The agency says they don't know how long the smell will last, but residents can reduce any odor or taste by chilling the water. If you work for minimum wage in Sunnyvale, you're getting a raise. The city adopted an ordinance in April that will raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour by 2018. The current minimum wage is $10.30, but it increases to $11 on Friday. Then wages will increase again next year to $13 an hour, then up to $15 come 2018. California's roads are some of the most congested in the country, but as it turns out, they're in bad shape as well. Will Kempton is executive director of Transportation California, says the state needs to find the time and money to repair crumbling roads now before the problem gets worse. About 58 percent of all of our roadways require some sort of rehabilitation or pavement maintenance. Eighty-seven percent of our county roads have a, an at-risk or poor rating. And if we don't do something on the local streets and roads, about a quarter of them are going to be in failed condition by 2022. Kempton believes failure to fix roads now will lead to an increase in hidden costs like the $800 on average we spend a year in repairs to our cars because we drive on roads in disrepair. Well, stocks closing higher for a second straight day as investors shrug off Brexit fears. A rally in crude oil prices and gains in the banking sector helped boost markets. The Dow rose 285 points to close at 17,694. NASDAQ climbed 87. The S&P closed at 35 points to finish the session at 2071. Well, much cooler out there thanks to all that fog. Let's get that forecast. Floyd Lindsay Young. Hello, Oakland. Good afternoon, everybody. This weather report brought to you by Amtrak. Big ball game tonight in Oakland. Game time temperature about 50. 59 degrees as the Giants move over there. We got about 40 seconds. Yeah, chillier on the coast gotcha. and very pleasant inland thanks to a nice thick marine layer. Maximums from the upper 50s at the ocean to the mid and upper 80s inland. Little change tomorrow. Travel through history on Amtrak at 20% off with saber fares on the train. Take scenic photos from panoramic windows with views that are wonderful and seats that are comfortable. Find saber fares at Amtrak.com. Amtrak, see where the train can take you. Well, a nice thick marine layer cooling the inland areas off. Lloyd Lindsay Young, Talk 910. Well, thanks so much, Lloyd. Well, now in for the vacationing doghouse, we've got AD on Talk 910. Let's go! Welcome to the future where the glass is half full and you'll need new glasses, where you'll be jumping from conclusions. The past is a no, and a new future is born. Never before in history has so much meant so little to so many. AD on the radio. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you so much to the doghouse for letting us make a mockery of the sense of professionalism. You've no doubt come to associate with their time slot. Thank you to Corey for letting us on his station. And uh, thank you to you for being part of our radio family. So I have a question, question for you about how you grew up. When you were a kid, what was, I want to say mom, and really it always seems to come from the mom in this situation. I don't know, maybe your father had very strong ideas about nutrition and what should or should not be ingested by growing children, but how strict was your mom with what it was that you put into your body, the things that you were allowed to eat, consume, things of that nature? Only because <laughs> I, I, had, uh, I had heavy parents. 
There were no artificial colors. There were no artificial flavors. There was no television. There was go outside, run around, take a drink from the hose, play, be a kid. Two hours of television a week if you're good. What about the food? Well, like I said, no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, none of the things that kids really enjoy. (laughs) It was not good times. Like I would go over to my friends' houses for sleepovers and you would show up after school like, you guys hungry? You want a snack? Milk and cookies? Some Oreos? (gasps) Oreos, oh my God. What else do you have? What what else do you got in the cupboard? I don't know. Want to have a look around? There's Doritos in here, there's Doritos, there's Oreos, there are candy bars. Can I, well, maybe you should just have one of those things before dinner, and, and then maybe one later. But yeah, go ahead. Come home after that, seeing how the rest of the world lived. Mom! Mom! Can I have Oreos? No! We'd be in the store. <laughs> We'd be in the store, grocery shopping, and I'd see stuff on the shelves that I'd seen in my friends' cupboards and fridges and be like, Mom, can we have this? And uh, I think eventually she got tired of explaining herself to me. So she would just pull whatever it was out of my hot little hand and point at the back and said, Ooh, artificial color, artificial flavor. No. Anything that starts with an E means you can't have it. And anything with something that starts with an E on the ingredients means you can't have it. Oh, so no Oreos. What about uh, what about these Nestle Toll House? That sounds that that sounds wholesome. That sounds good. Nestle Toll House chocolate chip cookies. No, you can have whole wheat carob chip biscuits. What's carob? Oh, it's like chocolate, but without all the stuff that's bad for you in it. Really? Well, okay. All right, let's give this a try. Ugh, carob's not good, Mom. It's a chocolate substitute. Tastes like what you would scoop out of the bottom of the rabbit cage. No good. No good whatsoever. So, it was kind of a tough gig growing up in my household if you enjoyed things like sugar. And, I don't know, I think my mom took it one step too far. I think my mom took it one step too far because, quite frankly... I think when you raise a kid that way, what you're doing is you're trying to set them up with good habits for the rest of their lifetime. You're trying to you're trying to curtail their taste buds. You're trying to get them to crave the right stuff. You're trying to give them the right start in life so that they grow up big and strong and not stunted by caffeine and artificial colors and flavors and sugars and things of that nature. And that's all well and good, but if you absolutely deprive a five-year-old of that sort of thing, like I said, it backfires. Wasn't allowed to watch the television either. So here I am beating the crap out of my 30s, still feeling like I'm a big boy now and I got the upper hand when I binge watch superhero cartoons for eight hours at a time, drinking Mountain Dew and eating Sour Patch Kids and Oreos. And I wind up exactly like I would when I was a kid, lazy, hyperactive and incoherent for the rest of the day. And I do this literally all the time. Not worried about spoiling my appetite, because as Jerry Seinfeld said, I know there will be another one that comes along in a couple of minutes' time, and that'll be fine. Now, my dad really didn't go along with it the same way himself. Like, he was all for it when he was at home, but yeah, 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 you should uh, should eat what your mother says you should eat. But sometimes you're a grown man that works hard, and you just want a pack of potato chips, you want some Pringles, and you want a candy bar. Hey, Funkhouse, you're down right now, but did you want to stay up with him, right? Now, my sister would sleuth that stuff out. Okay, you're up. Because my dad, my poor dad, he would quick stuff his face with a can of Pringles and a candy bar, go home, quickly dispose of the evidence, throw the trash out, and then my sister would go to the trash can and be like, hey, how are the Pringles in the candy bar, dad? And he'd be like, oh, no, I'm caught. Don't tell your mother. So my poor dad, on his way home, would have to, my, my poor dad, on his way home, would have to take his garbage and throw it out at the gas station so he wasn't caught with the evidence and busted by my sister or my mom. I remember my sister, we were allowed to, uh, we were allowed to drink herbal tea 
And my sister had a good scam going because she realized she could make herself an herbal tea and then dump a half a pound of sugar in the mug and nobody would ever notice. And she could just sort of like surreptitiously eat her sugar that way. Like the experiment has backfired when my sister's doing that. And when I shut the pantry door just so I can scoop the sugar she used for baking the disgusting organic cherub, carob chip cookies down my cavernous gaping eight-year-old gullet. It did not go well, but I think the worst part of all of it, the worst part of all of it was the healthy cereal we were forced to eat as kids. Did you have to eat any of that stuff? Unsweetened shredded wheat guaranteed to rip the roof of your mouth open and be completely unsatisfying while you're watching your 15 minutes of cartoons on a Saturday morning because that's all you've got left from your TV allowance for the week and you keep trying to maybe sneak the timer back a little bit so it doesn't ring as quickly. (laughs) It was a challenging childhood. Shredded wheat. Ugh, grape nuts. Can we scoop some sugar on this, Mom? No. You can have... One teaspoon of agave nectar. And when I first heard the term Brexit, having grown up in England, I I guess I started hearing it a little while ago from friends of mine that still live in England that are on Facebook. But when I grew up over there, or or sorry, when, when I heard the term Brexit, I was like, that sounds like that crap my mom used to make me eat on a Saturday morning. Big crackling bowl of Brexit with a half a teaspoon of agave nectar on it. It's just disgusting. Brexit. Ugh. Which is, coincidentally enough, what I think the vast majority of the United Kingdom is currently saying to themselves. Brexit. Ugh. The timing on this is incredibly apropos, though, because I honestly believe there's something for you to learn from Brexit. Not us, not us as a nation, not our uh, our electoral process. There's something for you to learn from what's happened in England, from Brexit. And we'll get into it next. Thank you for hanging out. Now, an update from the Talk 910 Traffic Center. Earlier stall, 80 eastbound, Treasure Island off-ramp has been cleared. Stop traffic from one... We got five minutes, man. ...leg getting out there. West 80 at Powell Street, accident cleared off the city... Five minutes? ...from Central, about an hour as well. Northbound 680, it's about a two-hour delay. Traveling out of Fremont, heading up the Sunol Grade out to Highway 84 because of several accidents and a grass fire. With your Talk 910 traffic, I'm Dina Lawrence. This report is brought to you by Compassion International. Almost one billion children around the world live in extreme poverty. You can change or even save the life of one of those kids when you become a sponsor with Compassion International. Find out how you can help at Compassion.com slash radio. Many health insurance plans now cover drug and alcohol abuse as a disease that can be treated. Maybe you thought only movie stars could afford treatment for an addiction? New rules have changed that. Now, real help is affordable if you call 800-885-HOPE. I was on my way to losing everything. Family, business, everything. I needed help, but I didn't know how. Then, I made the call. Addiction is a disease, horrible and debilitating. You can't fight it alone. But if you reach out, there's hope. Call 800-885-HOPE. That's 800-885-4673. I knew he had a problem, but didn't know where to get help. They found us a treatment center that took him quick and accepted insurance. New coverage rules make effective, quality treatment affordable. If you or someone you love has an addiction, you already know the problem won't fix itself. Call 800-885-HOPE. That's 800-885-HOPE. Don't put it off any longer. Ad sponsored by Lead Circle LLC. Coverage and rules vary by state and carrier. At NBC Bay Area, we investigate to hold the powerful accountable. Now we're expanding our resources to solve your consumer problems. Introducing NBC Bay Area Responds. I'm consumer investigator Chris Kamora. We'll investigate your complaints, hold businesses accountable, and return your money. Contact our Consumer Investigative Center at 888-996-TIPS or send us an email at nbcbayarea.com slash response. We'll respond to every call, every email. NBC Bay Area. We investigate. 
Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. With a call to National Tax Helpline, you can stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs, you may qualify for substantial savings. So get the help you need. If you owe the IRS 10000 or more, call now for free information and to see if you qualify. Take down the number now for the tax helpline. 800-479-8520. That's 800-479-8520 for free information. 800-479-8520. That's 800-479-8520. Attention, Xarelto and Pradaxa users. If you or a loved one has taken Xarelto or Pradaxa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Xarelto and Pradaxa are prescribed blood thinners used to prevent blood clots and protect people from strokes. If you have taken Xarelto or Pradaxa and been hospitalized for internal bleeding, call now, 800-298-6297. Serious bleeding has led to numerous cases of hospitalization and death. If you or a loved one was hospitalized for serious internal bleeding or a stroke after taking Xarelto or Pradaxa, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Call 800-298-6297. That's 800-298-6297. Again, 800-298-6297. This is an advertisement. Paid non-attorney spokesperson. Injuryhelpdesk.com is responsible for this advertisement. Principal Office Las Vegas, Nevada. Any Tom, Dick, or Harry can tell you that Geico could save you money on car insurance. But since money talks, why not go straight to the source? Hey, Harry's money here. And the day Harry went to Geico.com and switched his car insurance was the day I got to hang around. Finally, boys bonding, bada bing, bada boom. No wonder Geico has 97% customer satisfaction. Personally, I give him 100, but that's just my two cents. That was funny. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. The thought of my sons growing up without me inspired me to quit smoking. I talked to my doctors and then I threw away all my cigarettes, ashtrays, and lighters. I started exercising instead of smoking. Staying away from alcohol when I was first quitting was key. I kept on trying. Learned something each time. Do whatever it takes. We did it. So can you. You can quit. Call 1-800-QUIT-NOW for help getting free medication, if available and eligible. That's 1-800-QUIT-NOW. A message from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. 30 seconds. Bay Area's live TV now with the NBC Bay Area app. Catch the blacklist, the voice, and your favorite. I'll count you down from uh, five so you can have some music ready. Cool. Breaking news and investigations. NBC Bay Area's investigative unit first. Un- watch what you want, when you want, where you want. Download the NBC Bay Area app. So- 10 seconds, you're hot. And you're good to go. Five, four, three, two, Where the left and right come together for fundamental truths. AD on the radio, on Twitter at ADSXE. Thank you so much for joining us. We are in for the vacationing doghouse who have taken off for the extended 4th of July weekend. Or, 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 I'm AD. Or. <laughs> do we have Hillary Clinton barking? We do somewhere. She's over here. Let me see if I can wake her up. Is it? All right. Oh, there she is. Did you, did We're in you? for the vacationing doghouse who have bailed for the 4th of July holiday. And uh, thank you so much, by the way, to Elvis from the doghouse, who I believe is the reason we're sort of here. Right, Funkhauser? Isn't yeah, that true? Yeah, he and I go way back. Uh-huh. Way and, uh, we were, uh, back. Like most of the listeners out there going way back to the doghouse, right? Woof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think he was like, hey, you should try AD and Funkhauser. They don't completely suck. Um, so and here cheap. we are. <laughs> Thank eee. you so Yeah. 
<laughs> we are extraordinarily affordable. Did you used to have like fireworks on the Fourth of July? Was that a thing for you, Funkhauser? Oh yeah, till they outlawed it. I live mm-hmm. where there's mm-hmm. fires and stuff. Right. Yeah, you don't want to inadvertently burn the town down. Like where I lived. Did they do that up, in like, England? Before I. Well, see. Okay, yeah. Before I moved to England. Before I moved to England. I lived in New York, and in New York at the time, you couldn't buy fireworks. But I'll never forget, my grandmother sadly passed away. My grandfather, when he got remarried, he got married to uh, my step-grandma, who was from Alabama, where fireworks at the time were unbelievably legal. So to celebrate their wedding, they, uh, they had their kid bring up a whole bunch of fireworks from Alabama, which they shot off at the wedding. But here's the thing. He brought, like, a garbage bag full of them. And there was no way you were going to get through all of them. There was absolutely no way you were going to get through all of them. So, like, hey, you you want the rest of these, kid? And I was like, oh, oh, my God, could I? Oh, God, yeah, yes, please, yes, yes, without a shadow of a doubt. And a couple months later, my parents were like, guess what? We're moving to England. You don't get to bring your dog. I was like, oh, oh, and I was heartbroken. And uh, I remember packing all my stuff, getting ready to leave for England, having to leave my dog, something that traumatized me uh, for my entire life. I I really just couldn't believe it. Fortunately, fortunately, he went on to become a seeing eye dog. He was like this enormous Great Pyrenees Golden Retriever mix. And he got left with my aunt and uncle and cousins. And he was just too much of a handful for them because he was this huge, powerful, naughty puppy. And uh, they're like, we can't, we can't deal. And so he wound up becoming a seeing eye dog, and that was really cool. But at the time, it was absolutely heartbreaking. And uh, the other thing that was heartbreaking, not as heartbreaking as having to leave my dog, was when I went to pack my garbage bag full of fireworks and take them to England. And my parents were like, you, you can't bring those to other countries on a plane. That's not how Yeah, whoa, that man. Works. Whoa, like, oh. whoa. You can't. Whoa. Yeah. No. Not even but then. I did find out. Yeah. I did find out when I got to England, they, they don't have the 4th of July. <laughs> To uh, to people that are proud of English heritage, Fourth of July. Oh, they don't celebrate that over there. Still. I thought, they yeah, don't... no, not, not so much. Huh. So, so yeah, no, they they were not a fan of uh, the purchase of fireworks around that particular holiday, and they didn't sell fireworks year round in England. But the uh, the fifth of November. The, the gunpowder plot, if you studied any kind of English history in school, you know that that was when Guy Fawkes attempted to blow up the Houses of Parliament. And in honor of that, they decided to have bonfires, bonfire nights. And they'll sell fireworks around bonfire night in November. And you can also buy fireworks in, I think they're in the run-up to New Year's. Those are the two. Those are the only times you were able to buy them. And there weren't like hard and fast rules about when they were legal and when they weren't. You could just only find them for sale at those times. So they, they had them, but they were never all that great. You ever you ever play with those unbelievably disappointing indoor fireworks? You ever try those? You can't even call them that. Don't you pull a string and yeah. nothing happens? Well, then they had those little things that looked like looked like the carob chips I was talking about earlier in the show, <laughs> like the owl pellets or something. And you set them on fire and they, they burned a couple different colors and then became a worm. You ever, you ever try one of those? Wow. Yeah, they were just wildly, so wildly unsatisfying. Yippee. But the other thing that you got to bear in mind around 4th of July, if you're looking to have your own firework display, if you're in a place where that is legal, as our friend Jim Brewer points out, <laughs> some of them are really, really expensive. I loved 4th of July. You want a sparkler? No. <laughs> At the end of the day, you want to outduel the rest of the block, then you'd have to light off the big firework, remember? That was an announcement. I'm lighting it off, the $48 one. <laughs> People are like, back off, get behind the car. Get behind the car. Get your brother, get behind the car. <laughs> What's going on? Ma, get in the house. And get behind the screen window. Hurry up. He's lighting off the $48 one. Hurry up. <laughs> what does he do? That's the thing. I don't know. <laughs> Flick! Flick! <laughs> it goes on his back. You're like, Try to put it up. Don't touch it. Is it still lit? I don't know if it's still lit. A car. <laughs> oh, no. What's going on here? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> What's that, the $48 one? <laughs> so, yeah. 
Um, we did not have that particular joy in England. I guess when you're hiding that sort of stuff from cops as well, like it, it's such a thing. You're like, okay, you can shoot off this firework, but not when any cops are around. It's not like if you shoot a giant flaming ball straight up into the air, any cop in the vicinity would know what's up. It's like trying to sneakily blow off fireworks in a place where it's not legal to do so. Uh, uh, <laughs> misspent youth. Uh, anyway, so like I said, I did spend my misspent youth largely in the United Kingdom. Grew up in London, and, well, for that reason, I became aware of Brexit a little bit earlier than, I think, a lot of folks, just because, you know, English friends were talking about it on Facebook, and I was just like, what the what the hell is this Brexit? Oh, what? leaving the European Union? And what was funny is I assumed what everybody else assumed. And you could tell what everybody else assumed the day after it happened when you heard every single American talk radio host basically reading from Wikipedia about what was going on in England and what the <laughs> European Union was all about. Because, like, nobody thought it was the this isn't going to happen. This is not a thing. This is the oh, 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 crap. Oh, this actually happened. Huh. What, what does this mean? What the and almost immediately. Consumer confidence took a nosedive. Certain markets crashed. Uh, there was a ripple effect felt around the world, but mostly it was felt in the United Kingdom. Mostly that was where people felt it and are still feeling it and are still feeling it in a very interesting way where they're going, oh, things are things are different, but they're not changing at all. None of the things I wanted to change have changed but everybody's really scared about something and what's coming around the corner. And as we are on the eve of pulling a lever for democracy in our nation, there's a very important lesson, like I said, to be learned from what happened in England with Brexit in the United Kingdom. And it's not a lesson for us as a body of people to learn. It's not a lesson for us as a democracy to learn. It's not a lesson that we're going to learn for our political process. It's a lesson for you individually to learn and we'll get it and we'll get to it in just a little bit it's ad and funkhauser in for the vacationing doghouse on talk 910 Now, an update from the Talk 910 Traffic Center. 80 eastbound at Powell Street, CHP blocking the left lane for an accident on the westbound side. 4 minutes Street, that accident is just about cleared. Eastbound 4, Port Chicago, earlier vehicle fire is out. Stop traffic from Morello, still almost an hour delay. East 24 from the 580, 980 out to the Caldecott, stop traffic and the lights are out in the tunnel. With your talk, 910 Traffic, I'm Dina Lawrence. This report is brought to you by the Foundation for a Better Life. This is water. Can you feel this, Helen? <gasps> yes, Water! Helen, it's water! Deaf and blind, Helen Keller overcame her world of darkness. Foresight. Pass it on from the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. Many health insurance plans now cover drug and alcohol abuse as a disease that can be treated. Maybe you thought only movie stars could afford treatment for an addiction? New rules have changed that. Now, real help is affordable if you call 800-885-HOPE. I was on my way to losing everything. Family, business, everything. I needed help, but I didn't know how. Then, I made the call. Addiction is a disease, horrible and debilitating. You can't fight it alone. But if you reach out, there's hope. Call 800-885-HOPE. That's 800-885-4673. I knew he had a problem, but didn't know where to get help. They found us a treatment center that took in quick and accepted insurance. New coverage rules make effective, quality treatment affordable. If you or someone you love has an addiction, you already know the problem won't fix itself. Call 800-885-HOPE. That's 800-885-HOPE. Don't put it off any longer. Ad sponsored by Lead Circle LLC. Coverage and rules vary by state and carrier. Garden Chapel Funeral Directors would like to remind everyone listening, this 4th of July, California highways will be busy with motorists traveling to and from family and friends. So make sure you and your family have a safe and sober way home and please never drink and drive. Brought to you by the people who care at Garden Chapel Funeral Directors in South San Francisco. For more information, visit them online at GardenChapel885.com. They do believe our area is a great place to live and work and they're doing their best to help keep it that way. That's Garden Chapel Funeral Directors wishing you and your family a safe and happy 4th of July. 
And Dino Master Diesel Master reminds everyone, if you or someone you know has had too much to drink, have a sober friend drive or call a cab. Brought to you by Dino Master Diesel Master, proudly serving French camp and surrounding communities. Providing Northern California truck diagnostic repair and performance needs. They're located at 10 830 South Harlan Road. To learn more, call 209-234-1963. They're on the air because they care. That's Dino Master Diesel Master at 209-234-1963. Attention, Zarelto and Pradaxa users. If you or a loved one has taken Zarelto or Pradaxa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Zarelto and Pradaxa are prescribed blood thinners used to prevent blood clots and protect people from strokes. If you have taken Zarelto or Pradaxa and been hospitalized for internal bleeding, call now, 800-298-6297. Serious bleeding has led to numerous cases of hospitalization and death. If you you or a loved one was hospitalized for serious internal bleeding or a stroke after taking Zarelto or Pradaxa, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Call 800-298-6297. That's 800-298-6297. Again, 800-298-6297. This is an advertisement. Paid non-attorney spokesperson. Injuryhelpdesk.com is responsible for this advertisement. Principal Office Las Vegas, Nevada. Not near a radio? Not a problem. You can find us on your phone between Tinder and Yelp because Talk 910 is an iHeart radio station. It's now 431 at Talk 910. I'm Valerie Grant. State regulators are accusing more than a half dozen Bay Area Firestone shops of fraud. The California Bureau of Automotive Repair announced the charges after a two-year investigation of 30 Firestone service centers throughout the state. Investigators say 21 Firestone shops, including seven in the Bay Area, have been defrauding people by charging for unnecessary services and not installing proper safety features on tires. Expect to shell out more, a quarter more to cross the Golden Gate Bridge. Tolls will go up 25 cents on Friday to 6.50 for fast track commuters, 7.50 for cash payers, and 4.50 for carpool vehicles. Fares are also jumping 4% on Golden Gate Transit buses and ferry service. The toll increase will help balance a projected five year deficit of $33 million. San Francisco now has the nation's toughest ban on styrofoam. All right, so are you ready with some bad music? Last night to outlaw food packaging, plates, cups, egg cartons. All right, we have about 30 seconds left. He's packing peanuts, dock floats, and buoys made of styrofoam. Those items will be banned next January 1st. And styrofoam meat and fish trays, they'll be outlawed July 1st, 2017. Well, dense coastal fog overnight again, clearing tomorrow. Pretty early, we're looking at high 60s to the mid-90s further inland. You're hot. And he's in for the vacationing doghouse. It's AD on Talk 910. Don't get the blues, get all the news. We mean all of you. Guys out there in Radio Land. All aboard! He's back. AD on the radio. Give it up, yeah. Give it up, yeah. Bring this on, bring this on. Come on, come on. So what is it that you, you have to learn from Brexit, from what's happened in England? There's an individual lesson for all of us in what's gone on. Like I said, it's not to do with our political process. It is not to do with the way we run our version of democracy in this country. It's not to do with who you should or should not vote for in this upcoming election. (laughs) That a lot of people, I think, are increasingly uh, starting to view as being a bit of a Sophie's Choice. No, it's a lesson for you as an individual that we can learn from Brexit, what's going on in the United Kingdom. And we'll get to it a little later on in the show. It's A.D. and Funkhauser in for the vacationing doghouse. You can tweet us, join in the conversation, at at ADSXE is me. At FunkFM is super producer to the stars, Barry Funkhauser. Let's take a look at the world and what is going on in it with him now. This is My Witness News. In no way, shape, or form, fair, and certainly not balanced. And now, super producer to the stars, Barry Funkhauser. Oh, good afternoon. Hello, how are you? Good, awesome. I just uh, bit my tongue. Mm, just there. That's like the worst thing to happen ever, in our field. 
Well, yeah, you know, actually, you're not far wrong. And you know, when you bite, you bite one area of your tongue, it swells up, or you develop like a weird little cankery type sore on it. That, that ever happened to you? I don't know what you're talking about. Does that happen to you? And, <laughs> and, and when you have that one sort of like little protruding part of your tongue that you've bitten, as minuscule as it might be, you're gonna bite it over and over again. So I'm like on a two week non ability to heal my my. My tongue. You got a so handicap if I bite going it on again. Right I do, I do. It's like uh, dueling you with one hand tied behind my back. <laughs> do the <this> show left handed. <laughs> what is going on in the world, Funkhauser? Well, Farah Abraham is under fire for dressing her seven year old daughter in a bikini and making her pose for seductive photos. Oh, oh that's. Yeah. Um, Farah Abraham, the, the teen mom. Yeah. The teen mom. Who, who uh, made a quote-unquote sex tape, and by sex tape she means totally pr- planned out and professionally shot pornographic film. Uh, Fair Abraham, <laughs> I, and I don't, I don't know how this happened, follows me on Twitter. Yeah? Like, I, I don't, yeah, I, I don't get it. I, I really, and so, like, you, you know on Twitter you can direct message people that follow you? Like, yeah. I think that's, that's the only way you can send someone a direct message, right? Yeah, Crystal Hefner follows me randomly. Can you believe that? Is Hugh Hefner's daughter? No. Have you I ever think uh, pulled the trigger the, on the old direct message? It's one of the wifeys, I think. Oh, no. Oh, it's Maybe. one of the ex wives? Yeah, or the current mm. current wife. Current wife. Yeah, no. Bro, didn't you used to work, like, in. in, in yeah, but it was like, so long Playboy ago. Playboy had some sort of audio department and you did something with them? Yeah, but how would she randomly follow me? Like, you know, I have nothing to do with her. She's like, I'm going to follow this one. I have no idea why she followed me, know. but I do want to DM her. Uh, you haven't yet? What's up, girl? <laughs> like, when Fair Abraham followed me, I was like, I'm just going to wait till like, 3 o'clock in the morning one day and be like, you up? <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you should the send thing it about twice, that too. Is, just twice. Uh, yeah, she, one after the other, the, like the a about, minute apart. <laughs> it's me, the guy that you inexplicably followed. <laughs> but now, if I do decide to direct message her, I will ask her a question about exactly what was going through her head when she decided to do this. She 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 dressed her seven year old kid in a bikini and posed her for seductive photos that she then uploaded to the internet, or as it's otherwise known, Chris Jennering. But nevertheless, like oh, can, definitely oh, not okay. Come on, oh come on. I think that um, I think I think maybe she just followed me when. Like, how do you get verified on Twitter? Like, that little V that means you're really you. Like, how, how does that happen? I don't know. I, I have no idea. Because somehow I got verified. And I don't I don't know. At no point did Twitter come to me and say, Hey, are you actually this yuck yuck on the radio? And I, 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 I neither confirmed nor denied that. But I got, like, the little verification sticker thing next to it. And I think almost immediately afterwards was when Fair Abraham followed me. Like, hey, verify. Like, I would, it's so funny because, like, all the time you're on the outside looking in at this sort of thing. And you're like, oh, I wonder if there's some sort of secret club. You know, those the, those really important Twitter people with the little V next to their name, they probably just all, you know, accept each other and are immediately friends. And I think maybe that's what happened. <laughs> because usually it's like garbage. No, no, it's not a club. It's not a, oh, wait, there really is a little sort of like secret handshake thing going on on Twitter. Uh, you're verified. I'll, I'll follow you. It, it's so silly. I probably shouldn't talk about it on the radio because we're on in San Francisco. Where, isn't that where Twitter's head? quartered probably attention at right. jack or whatever your name is <laughs> yeah. what are you doing so, over like, there I mr square be... come on with it <laughs> probably shouldn't be mentioning that uh they uh improperly verified me or i'll get that little v taken away from the next uh, from my uh twitter handle and i'll be back to being just a normal person i don't think they can undo it abraham <laughs> I don't think they can. The, the fair abraham would unfollow me and then where would i be moping about in the foothills of life that's where what else Johnny Manziel's in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, for some reason. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Another uh, opportunity to update your Johnny Manziel scorecard. If you, um, if, you were, if you were a what-behind-the-ears youngster that all of a sudden became an NFL quarterback, and you got relieved of that job because you were too much of a drinky the clown off the field to be able to perform your duties on the field, what would you do? You'd probably do everything in your power to be like, whoa, 
that that's been my lifelong dream. I've got to get that gig back. I'm going to I'm going to be seen only working out, drinking water, and uh, throwing footballs through hula hoops that are suspended from something <laughs> far off in the distance. That's probably what you'd be doing. Not Johnny Manziel. He is uh, living it up in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, this week. And uh, by the way, in tomorrow's news, Cabo San Lucas officially out of tequila. Go on. Oh, I was just going to go. Uh, Rio's governor says the Olympics are destined to be a big failure. Hmm. Yeah, it's not exactly a ringing endorsement from the governor <laughs> of Rio being like, yeah, this, this, this will not go well. This will not go well. He says it's going to be a big failure. But yeah, only if your definition of failure involves getting stomped by protesters, having your passport stolen, contracting the Zika virus, and being murdered by drug lords, then by that definition, yeah, failure. It doesn't look like good times. <laughs> like, American athletes keep dropping out of it left, right, and center. It I mean, would you yeah. go? Well, I think you and I have talked about this a little bit in the past. Like, I look at, like, I don't, I don't drink. I don't. I, I don't use party as a verb. Those days are are, are over. Not because I ever had any sort of drinking problem, but I just didn't like the way it made me feel. It, not 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 a thing for me. So, if you're not that kind of person that loves to go out and load up and party and things of that nature, you look at those events a little bit differently. Like I could understand how someone would look at like carnival or, or whatever. And go, that that seems like fun. I want to go there. But to me, it just seems crowded and sweaty. Carnival? And, yeah. Girls with it wings seem and like stuff could... and beads. and Girl, Isn't that what that mm. is? Carnival? Wings, beads, and pasties. Yeah. It doesn't seem like uh, the sort of thing that I would want to travel for. Like, I get precious few days of vacation time being the radio guy that I am. And, uh, well, I've already dedicated that to going to visit my father in former war of torn Yugoslavia. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> All right, you go to Yugoslavia, I'll go to Rio. Well, I'm going to go to, then, it'll, it'll be Kosovo. I'm trying to convince my dad, my dad, uh, I, yeah, okay, maybe Kosovo. I should give a little bit of context. My my dad was a, a, yeah, my dad was a corporate oil lawyer back in the day, and also, like we, we discussed, my parents were hippies, and when you're a corporate oil lawyer and a hippie, those are two sort of like diametrically opposed ways of going through life, so now he's kind of doing reparations, I think, for the <laughs> 90s by being in places like Kosovo and doing human rights work, but yeah. It's funny, I talked to my dad about what it's like to be in Kosovo, and uh, you know, it's getting isis over there. Jeez, in fact, really? um, he's got to go to Istanbul for uh, a a procedure, a medical procedure, because they have better, better hospitals there, and I'm not stoked about that after what happened. But uh, I'm like, Dad, isn't it dangerous? He's like, Nah, you just there's certain streets you don't walk down. It's like New York City in the 70s. It's AD and Funkhauser on Talk 910 in for the vacationing doghouse. Now, an update from the Talk 910 Traffic Center. Southbound 280 at the off-ramp to Bird Avenue in San Jose. Vehicle ran in... Five minutes. They stuck in the right lane of okay, the off-ramp. Right also, South 101 at 3rd Avenue. The off-ramp to 3rd is closed right now in San Mateo to fight a grass fire. With the fire department on the scene, it's going to be closed until further notice. South 101 also slow from the Robin Williams Tunnel out to the north end of the Golden Gate. About a 5 to 10 minute delay. With your Talk 910 Traffic, I'm Dina Lawrence. This report is brought to you by Hero. Summer is coming. How's your AC unit, lawn, doors, and windows? With Hero, you can make your home more comfortable this summer and lower your utility bills. Ask your contractor for details about Hero or visit HeroProgram.com or call 855-HERO-411. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. With a call to National Tax Helpline, you can stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. If you owe the IRS 10000 or more, call now for free information and to see if you qualify. 
Take down the number now for the tax helpline, 800-479-8520. That's 800-479-8520 for free information. 800-479-8520. That's 800-479-8520. When you manage your fantasy football team on Yahoo, you get live scoring, stats, scouting reports, news, and expert advice all on your phone. This is the stuff that winners use to win. In fact, you'll be winning so much, you'll have to find new ways to gloat. Here are a few suggestions. Make yourself a crown out of paper mache. Skywright, you drafted your quarterback way too early over your friend Doug's house. Trade in your work chair for a throne. Sign up now at yahoo.com slash fantasy football to start your league. Win at football. In 1969, we reached a new frontier. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for man. Now, get ready to take one deep dive to a place we know even less about than the surface of the moon, the ocean's deep coral reefs. See Twilight Zone, Deep Reefs Revealed, a new exhibit at the California Academy of Sciences. Get tickets at calacademy.org. She walked out of a cigarette factory 140 years ago, and she's been smoking hot ever since. San Francisco Opera proudly presents Carmen, Bizet's sultry masterpiece of love, lust, and murder. Don't miss this provocative new encounter with the ultimate femme fatale. Carmen, now through July 3rd. For tickets, call 415-864-3330 or visit sfopera.com today. Remembering by DAV, Disabled American Veterans. 91-year-old Bob Despain survived when his ship, the USS Hull, a destroyer, was attacked and sunk in the South Pacific during World War II. I didn't jump off the ship because I was laying down in the gutter on the back end of the ship. And the ship was going down, stern first. I just laid there and I just swam away. DAV helps more than a million veterans in life-changing ways every year. Get help or support more victories for veterans at DAV.org. Presenting The Grill. Oh, beautiful pork tenderloin for double saucy ribs. With smoky bacon barbecue, you're gonna need a bib. America, America, pork will your taste buds thrill. And crown pork's good in the neighborhood, from grill to shining grill. Let's grill for it. Get started at porkbeinspired.com. This message funded by America's Pork Producer. One minute. Off. Attention, Zarelto and Pradaxa users. If you or a loved one has taken Zarelto or Pradaxa and Got suffered it. an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Zarelto and Pradaxa are prescribed blood thinners used to prevent blood clots and protect people from strokes. If you have taken Zarelto or Pradaxa and been hospitalized for internal bleeding, call now. 800-298-6297. Serious bleeding has led to numerous cases of hospitalization and death. If you or a loved one was hospitalized for serious internal bleeding or a stroke after taking Zarelto or Pradaxa, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Call 800. Hey, man, this spot is almost over. When you hear the I Heart Liner, that means you have five seconds, okay? 800-298-6297. This is an advertisement. No problem. Person. Injury Help Desk.com is responsible for this advertisement. Principal Office, Las Vegas, Nevada. The Motul FIM Superbike World Championship Races, July 8th. You're hot. Here comes the liner. .com. Talk 910 is available anywhere you go on the iHeart Radio app. Download it now. Now, more AD on the radio. Join the conversation. You can tweet me, AD. I'm filling in for the vacationing doghouse. At ADSXE is where you can get a hold of yours truly. You can get a hold of super producer to the stars, Barry Funkhauser at Funk FM. Funkhauser, you and I are going to talk about what people can learn from Brexit. What kind of a difference it can make in their life. Every Brexit? Day. Watch your mouth. Individual. <laughs> 
Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Right now, though, let's roll through what remains of the news. What else is going on in the world? Well, in a speech yesterday on the economy, Donald Trump promised he would stand up to China. Mm-hmm. 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 It's kind of a vague concept. Stand up to. What, what's... Does that include asking them why my iPhone only holds a charge for an hour when it's, like, nine months old? Because if not, not interested, Trump. I'm going to need more specific I disavow. I I hate that. (laughs) I I hate how our politicians can get away with running on these vague concepts. It really, like, I mean, hope, change. All right. What does that look like? Well, hope and change. Stand up to China. Well, what does that look like? Are you or are you not going to check into why my iPhone doesn't hold battery for that long? What does it look like when you stand up to China? What are hope and change supposed to be? That's why I like Martin Luther King. So clear, so defined. I have a dream. I have a dream, and I'm probably going to get this wrong, but we all know the gist of this. I have a dream about a world where little black boys and little white girls can play together and hold hands. That's a very specific dream. It makes it that much easier to attain. It makes it that much easier to hold someone accountable when the things that you promise are vivid and defined. But, but, you know, the accountability. Yeah, just here's a free phone. Vote. I'm going to get your job back from the Immigrant terrorists that want to kill you that other countries are sending here to rape and pillage. Vote. Our politicians on both sides of the fence are allowed to run on these vague concepts, and people fall for it every single time, and I'm sick of it. What else? Well, speaking of which, Hillary Clinton says she'll try harder to convince voters that she's honest. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I saw that. At least I think that was what she was saying. I was too distracted by the fact that her nose was growing and her pants were on fire while she was talking. <laughs> I think that's the frightening thing. And look, look like, I, I don't know which side of, like I said, I don't know which side of the political fence you fall down on. I refuse to be defined and therefore negated. But for me, like I said, this is kind of becoming a Sophie's choice of an election. And I, I kind of sort of, I, I don't find either of our choices to be incredibly truthful i really don't like i mean look i think the main difference is while they both lie hillary i think when she lies she lies in a very calculated way she's aware of what she's lying about and why she's lying and what it's supposed to achieve trump just automatically believes things that come out of his own mouth i think he honestly believes his own lies and if it came out of my mouth it must be true huge and that (laughs) That deluded lying that makes you believe your own version of the truth in that way is a a scary proposition. I can't figure out which is scarier. The one who lies and actually believes their own lies or the one who uh, lies in a cold, calculated way to keep the truth from you. Not sure. Not sure. What else? Hillary Clinton says it's time to move on from Benghazi. I really... There was no way for her to... There was no way for her to win in that situation that's a tough one that she was up against and still kind of is up against because you know what you want to absolve yourself of blame you want to further your own career and hey maybe maybe you are blameless in this situation let's just let's just forget that he said she said in, in this but you have to work to absolve your say you are without blame you got to work to absolve yourself of it. And in doing so, you come off as the most discompassionate person on the face of the planet with regard to the loss of life and what happened in Benghazi. But it sort of feels like she's been trying to move on from Benghazi ever since it happened. And it's there's no, there's no win in that for anyone. It's a horrible situation, obviously. And then, you know, either... Either she's committed something that are, either she's committed things that are ostensibly war crimes, or she is innocent and dehumanized by the fact that she has to then, in a cold, in a way that can only come across as cold, distance herself from the horrific loss of human life. Like I said, it's a no-win. What else? A street magician in Florida was arrested for pulling off a woman's bikini top during a trick. <laughs> it's a great trick. Yeah. 
you know, if you uh, if you go see street performers, any that you see on a regular basis, usually like they're really good. Like street performing, I have you know, it's not something I think I would be interested in doing, mostly because I don't have a talent that could be translated into cold hard cash on the streets of any major city. But those that can do it tend to be really freaking good at whatever it is they do. They really do. Like, because if you're going to make a living at it, if you're going to have a go of things being a street performer, you, you got to have something that makes people go, ooh, ah, here's some money. You also have to have a sense of where the line is. And this guy in Florida who was arrested for pulling off a woman's bikini top during the trick did not. That's, uh, that's what you get for thinking with your... Uh, <laughs> That's what you get for thinking with your magic wand. Whoa, careful. Whoa, man. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Whoa, man. Should we, should we woke up 10 back Whoa. there. Do I have to hit the button? Okay. <laughs> thank you, 10. Thank you for yes, hanging out you. and making this, like, unbelievable. This is pretty crazy. rad. Should, should I let them in on the uh, on the weird situation that we have going on here, Von Kaiser? Yeah, uh, in, in uh, two minutes? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I mean, just just FYI, so people know what's happening. All of us, all of us are in different cities at the moment. Funkhauser and I we are do nationwide a show every right day. now, or we will mm-hmm. be in like yeah, six yeah. minutes. We're like coastal yeah. <laughs> because, like, I'm in San Diego. Funkhauser's in Los Angeles, and Ten is holding it all together in San Francisco, and we could not thank him more for that. So, what is Brexit? Exactly. Well, Brexit is the United Kingdom bailing on the European Union. A lot of people thought this would never happen. A lot of people were very surprised when it actually did happen. Not least of all the people that were saying it was such a great idea in the first place. They're like, holy crap, we, 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 we won. We won the referendum. Ooh, what now? Now, what were the linchpins of the Leave movement in England? There was Leave and there was Remain. Those that wanted to remain part of the European Union voted Remain. Those that wanted to leave obviously voted leave. What were the straws that broke the proverbial camel's back that made the unthinkable happen? There are numerous parallels between that and our situation in the run-up to this election. But basically, leave and the referendum, the Brexit referendum, leave won out because of two very key things. Immigration, and interestingly enough, socialized medicine. The idea of protecting borders, the idea of protecting jobs, the idea of taking money that was being funneled into the European Union as part of trade agreements and dumping it back into the National Health Service, their version of Obamacare. We will discuss exactly how this affects you going forward directly ahead. It's AD and Funkhauser on Talk 910 in for the vacationing doghouse. Thank you for joining us. Now, an update from the Talk 910 Traffic Center. Heading home right now, Highway 101, southbound at 3rd. Five minutes. Off-ramp in San Mateo is still closed for a small grass fire on the shoulder. No worries. From San Bruno Avenue, about a 15-minute yes, backup. Too. Southbound 280 at Bird Avenue, San Jose. Vehicle ran out of gas. It's still partially sticking out into the right-hand lane. And then East Shore Freeway traffic westbound from Central out to Powell. Almost an hour delay. With your Talk 910 Traffic, I'm Dina Lawrence. This report is brought to you by First 5 California. Reading to your child doesn't always have to be from a book. When you're shopping, read the labels on the packages, the signs above the aisles, the words, and your voice are exercise for their brains. Built for business. In business, time is money. In business, money is also money. No wonder nearly a thousand businesses choose Comcast Business Internet over DSL from the phone company every single day. Not only is it up to five times faster, it's actually a better value when you go with the fastest plan. So take a minute out of your busy schedule and call Comcast Business. It will be well worth your time and your money. Switch to Comcast Business Internet. Then add voice and TV for just $34.90 a month. And ask about our two-year price guarantee. Call 800-501-6000 or visit ComcastBusiness.com. Comcast Business. Built for business. 
Offer ends 831.16. Restrictions apply. Limited one voice line and private view TV for new customers. Two-year contract required. Requires Comcast business internet and an additional monthly charge. Equipment, taxes, and fees, including broadcast TV fee extra. Savings claim based on cost per megabits per second. Compares Comcast 100 megabits per second and 20 megabits per second DSL downloads. Attention, Zarelto and Pradaxa users. If you or a loved one has taken Zarelto or Pradaxa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Zarelto and Pradaxa are prescribed blood thinners used to prevent blood clots and protect people from strokes. If you have taken Zarelto or Pradaxa and been hospitalized for internal bleeding, call now. 800-298-6297. Serious bleeding has led to numerous cases of hospitalization and death. If you or a loved one was hospitalized for serious internal bleeding or a stroke after taking Zarelto or Pradaxa, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Call 800-298-6297. That's 800-298-6297. Again, 800-298-6297. This is an advertisement. Paid non-attorney spokesperson. InjuryHelpDesk.com is responsible for this advertisement. Principal Office, Las Vegas, Nevada. You're listening to Talk 910, a.k.a. San Francisco's talk station, a.k.a. KKSF Oakland, a.k.a. Talking McTalkface. We blame the Internet for that one. It's now 5 o'clock at Talk 910. I'm Valerie Grant. Security is being beefed up today at SFO after the Istanbul airport terror attack. An SFO spokesman says although there's no specific threat, everyone is on a heightened state of vigilance. Istanbul's Ataturk airport is open for travel today following a terrorist attack that killed over 40 people. Texas Congressman Michael McCall tells Fox News it looks to be an ISIS-related attack. It involved a, an airport just like Brussels. It's like the sequel uh, to Brussels. Um, it's the uh, second anniversary of the caliphate. Uh, unlike the PKK, which strikes military, they often strike uh, civilian um, targets. Istanbul's governor says over a dozen foreign nationals are believed to be among the dead. More than 230 people were injured in the attack that started with terrorists opening fire on people outside a security checkpoint. All three attackers then blew themselves up. A teenager is fighting for her life after being hit by a car yesterday afternoon. Tom Benner with that story. A teenage girl is dead and another in critical condition after being struck by a car while walking along an East Bay road that had no sidewalks. Officers responded just before 3 yesterday afternoon to a report of a car hitting two pedestrians on East Cypress Road in Oakley. One teen was pronounced dead at the scene and the other was airlifted to Children's Hospital Oakland where she remains on a ventilator. Oakley police say they're investigating witness reports and whether or not the driver who hit the teens was impaired. Former Mountain View Mayor and City Councilwoman Pat Figueroa has died. The 73-year-old passed away last Friday after a long illness. She served on the City Council for 18 years, including two stints as the city's mayor in 1982 and again in 1995. Flags at City Hall will be lowered to half staff in her memory beginning tomorrow. Well, it's still not too late to book a quick getaway for the 4th of July weekend. You know, there's uh, great ways still that you can get some uh, fares if you act now for 4th of July travel or right after that, Um, especially if you're going to be flying 90 minutes away from your home. So uh, look for those short flights. Billy Santa's a fair comparison. says people can still find great airfares around the U.S. for around 200 bucks. He recommends shopping for bundled deals that include airfare, rental cars, and hotels to get the most bang for your buck. Well, let's take a look at that Bay Area forecast he's got at Lloyd Lindsay Young. Hello, Emeryville. Good afternoon, everybody. Weather report brought to you by Amtrak. Well, the marine layer really thickened up, and the onshore flow keeping temperatures really pleasant inland, only in the upper 80s compared to triple-digit heat earlier this week. San Francisco, oh boy, the high stopped at 62 degrees, and it's held in the 50s on the coast due to the fog and clouds. Little change tomorrow, maybe a few degrees warmer over the holiday weekend. Go somewhere really fascinating. Your own country. Book a trip on Amtrak, get extra leg room, extra outlets, and pat... Uh, Ten seconds postcard-worthy views. Get 20% off with saver fares at Amtrak.com. Amtrak, see where the train can take you. In the Weather Lab, Lloyd Lindsay Young, Talk 910. Sounds good. Thanks a lot, Lloyd. Now, now in for the Vic. Here we go. At AD on Talk 910. Let's see. Everyone, they're here already. You're next. <laughs> Welcome to the future where the glass is half full and you'll need new glasses, where you'll be jumping from conclusions. The past is a and a new future is born. Never 
before in history has so much meant so little to so many. A.D. on the radio. So do you remember what we learned about Lloyd Lindsay Young last time we were on Talk 910, Funkhauser? Do you remember this? Do you recall this? Do you, do you, I mean, look, first and foremost, single greatest weatherman on the face of the planet. But there's something else that makes him even more impressive. Oh, I remember now. Do you remember? Do, do you, uh... Ten, can you uh, can you talk on the air? Is, is that a thing that you can do? Do you have a microphone have a in thing? front of you that will That'd be allow really you to cool. take part of the conversation? Three people. Uh, I I am here. Hello. No. Yeah. So do you know hey. do you, do you know what makes uh, Lloyd Lindsay Young even more remarkable than he seems on the surface of things? Uh, no. You, I'm you gonna know, let you say it. There's so many. Do you know many. which iconic hip hop? Well, I mean, so many. Oh. But do you know which iconic hip hop album he was a part of? Wasn't it uh, N.W.A. or somebody like that? You know, Close. I'm not sure. Now my mind has just been See, boggled we know again one of because, many, but yeah, yeah, you <laughs> could be right. Was he on NWA's album? I know hmm. uh, somebody. I think it was uh, Jodeci. No, not Jodeci. Uh, Jodeci. Uh, Jodeci. Awesome. Not Jodeci. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it was, uh, he, he is a smooth individual. What was the ones who sing Poison? Uh, Bell 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 yeah, they use his uh, voice, uh, his hello, in one of their songs. So he gets royalties from that. So that's pretty cool. Really? Oh, yeah. Bell Bib DeVoe as well, because we know that he was on the BC Boys album, Paul's Boutique, oh. which is... Oh, when he was oh a gosh. New York like the, weatherman. Mm, yeah, so badass. So freaking cool. So um, speaking of so freaking cool, that's the, the other thing that I've always loved about San Francisco. Like, if you grow up in England the way I did... It's very, very easy to feel at home in San Francisco. It's like, oh, it's gray. Because it's, it's so cluttered and compact? It, well, it's it's gray, it's crowdy, it's cloudy, it's cluttered, it's compact, it's drizzly. Everything's really, really expensive. I'm home. Like, I love San Francisco because for someone that grew up in England, it's an extraordinarily relatable thing. Now, with what's going on in England, there's another way that we can relate to it as well. Why, oh why, did this happen? Like I said, if you listen to talk radio around the country the day after it happened, everybody was straight up reading passages off of Wikipedia about the European <laughs> Union and completely faking the funk because no one had done the homework on it. No one thought it would happen. Everybody just sort of sidestepped it and went, gee, we did not see that one coming. But here's a little bit of the backstory. Uh, European Union page loading. Okay. <laughs> That was what it was like because it's such an improbable thing that this would happen. And why did it happen? Why did it happen? Well, look, there are some parallels. There are some parallels between the English situation and the American situation. Look what's going on here to all of us, all over the country. People have extraordinarily legit things to be upset about. Things grievances, I suppose you would call them, that they have every right to have. They have grievances about American jobs being sent overseas, about being uh, about it being unbelievably difficult to get anything done here. Remember, like, Burger King a little while back bought some Canadian donut chain so they could headquarter themselves in Canada and then pay, like, half the amount of corporate tax that they would have to pay if they were headquartered here. And people are like, that's unpatriotic. That's not unpatriotic. That's math. You're a company like Burger King, and all of a sudden you have a, an opportunity to cut your tax bill in half. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money that can stimulate your company, the economy, all of the above. And American jobs are being sent overseas. American businesses are being sent overseas. There's a decline in living standard for pretty much all of us, I think. I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but most of the people that I talk to are working for all they're worth. And then, turns out, what they're worth is a lot less than they feel like it should be at the end of the day. A lot of people feel like we're backsliding, like we're going backward, like they themselves are going backward. A lot of people getting paid less to do now 
than what their counterparts did 10 years ago. A lot of people feel like large companies and financial institutions have a chokehold on politicians. A lot of people feel like Congress was bought and sold by special interests. Now, enter a politician. Enter Trump. Trump's going to tell you a lot of it has to do with radical Islam, about our borders not being controlled, illegal immigrant workers who are also here to murder us. And in the meantime, Obama, Obama, in case you did not know, has been a deporting fool since he became president. He's deported an awful lot. I feel bad for Obama in this situation because, like, he's... Hispanic groups have come at Obama and called him, I think, the deporter-in-chief. Meanwhile, folks on the right are like, you're not doing enough to secure our borders and keep us safe, and you need to get rid of people that are here illegally. And he's been doing it in a very, very pronounced way, in a way that a lot of people actually think is unfair. But Obama... He's all about, he's all about kicking people out. Clinton, him and Clinton don't exactly have their hands clean when it comes to policies on war in the Middle East that have us in this hideous amount of turmoil that we find ourselves in. A lot of people will tell you that it has to do with power and oil and the power that comes with oil. And their policies of war show little regard for human life. So here we are in this situation where we have these legit grievances. And in England, something that is not unlike that is playing out. And immigration and socialized medicine, social programs, were the linchpins of the leave European, leave the European Union campaign. That's what got the job done. That's what got that's what's got people scratching their heads. Now, I haven't seen it myself in America. I've heard it happens in maybe parts of Michigan. But the immigration issues that folks there are faced with are interesting when it comes to the idea of folks that have come to England and decided, hey, we like Sharia law at home, we like Sharia law here. People who have been ousted from their communities that feel unsafe in these situations. People where there are folks that are proponents of Sharia law marching through the streets telling women, cover yourselves, whore. Now, this is not a simple problem that has a simple solution. But the Leave folks painted a very simplistic, deceptively simplistic picture, and a lot of folks were taken in by that. Like I said, this all comes back to us, and there's a lesson for you to learn that you can take into your daily life with you. We'll get to it next. It's AD in for the doghouse on Talk 910. Thank you so much for hanging out. Now, an update from the Talk 910 Traffic Center. Early got five minutes. Bound Treasure Island off ramp Thank has you. been cleared. Stop traffic from 101. It's almost an hour delay getting out there. West 80 at Powell Street. Accident cleared off to City Street. Stop traffic from Central. About an hour as well. Northbound 680. It's about a two hour delay. Traveling out of Fremont, heading up the Sunol Grade out to Highway 84 because of several accidents and a grass fire. With your Talk 910 traffic, I'm Dina Lawrence. This report is brought to you by Lead Safe America. Do you live in a historic home? Are you renovating? Your children could be at risk of lead poisoning. It takes just a microscopic amount of lead dust to poison a child. Learn more at leadsafeamerica.org. Many health insurance plans now cover drug and alcohol abuse as a disease that can be treated. Maybe you thought only movie stars could afford treatment for an addiction? New rules have changed that. Now, real help is affordable if you call 800-885-HOPE. I was on my way to losing everything. Family, business, everything. I needed help, but I didn't know how. Then, I made the call. Addiction is a disease, horrible and debilitating. You can't fight it alone. But if you reach out, there's hope. Call 800-885-HOPE. That's 800-885-4673. I knew he had a problem, but didn't know where to get help. 
they found us a treatment center that took in quick and accepted insurance. New coverage rules make effective, quality treatment affordable. If you or someone you love has an addiction, you already know the problem won't fix itself. Call 800-885-HOPE. That's 800-885-HOPE. Don't put it off any longer. Ad sponsored by Lead Circle LLC. Coverage and rules vary by state and carrier. And if elected, I promise to free you from the tyranny of big corporate utility companies and improve energy efficiency in every home with your energy solutions. What my esteemed colleague fails to mention about his green agenda is that your energy solutions saves money, too. Even bitter rivals agree. Your Energy Solutions Solar Company is the answer to rising energy costs. Go solar for less than your current monthly utility bill and own for the same cost as leasing with no money down on approved credit. Right now, get up to $1,500 off your next solar purchase. For details, call 888-888-0711. Your Energy Solutions is a local company with an industry-leading 25-year production guarantee. Find out why we have a five-star online rating. Call 888-888-0711 now for a free appraisal. That's 888-888-0711 for your energy solutions and say yes to solar. Discount based on 6 kilowatt system. Offer in 63016. Attention Zarelto and Pradaxa users. If you or a loved one has taken Zarelto or Pradaxa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Zarelto and Pradaxa are prescribed blood thinners used to prevent blood clots and protect people from strokes. If you have taken Zarelto or Pradaxa and been hospitalized for internal bleeding, call now. 800-298-6297. Serious bleeding is led to in numerous cases of hospitalization and death. If you or a loved one was hospitalized for serious internal bleeding or a stroke after taking Zarelto or Pradaxa, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Call 800-298-6297. That's 800-298-6297. Again, 800-298-6297. This is an advertisement paid non-attorney spokesperson. Injury Helpdesk.com is responsible for this advertisement. Principal Office, Las Vegas, Nevada. Any Tom, Dick, or Harry can tell you that Geico could save you money on car insurance. But since money talks, why not go straight to the source? Hey, Harry's money here. And the day Harry went to Geico.com and switched his car insurance was the day I got to hang around. Finally, boys bonding, bada bing, bada boom. No wonder Geico has 97% customer satisfaction. Personally, I give him 100, but that's just my two cents. That was funny. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. The thought of my sons growing up without me inspired me to quit smoking. I talked to my doctors and then I threw away all my cigarettes, ashtrays, and lighters. I started exercising instead of smoking. Staying away from alcohol when I was first quitting was key. I kept on trying. Learned something each time. Do whatever it takes. We did it. So can you. You can quit. Call 1-800-QUIT-NOW for help getting free medication, if available and eligible. That's 1-800-QUIT-NOW. A message from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Do you get frustrated when your earbuds break? Or by the tangled mess of earbud cords? Tweaked audio earbuds sound great, feature flat, tangle-free cords, and have a lifetime warranty. They're available in a variety of styles and colors and work with all smartphones. Go to tweakedaudio.com and enter promo code RADIO at checkout to receive 33% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. That's tweakedaudio.com, promo code 30 seconds. Tweaked Audio. Sounds. Got it. I'll give you a five second countdown. Thank you. Experience. I knew from the moment that the news hit regarding Orlando, I knew which direction all the commentary was going to go. I knew exactly how the politicians were going to posture, how they were going to set themselves. 10 seconds. Could forward their own political ambitions. Mo Kelly. You're hot. Five, four, three, two, one. Where the left and right come together for fundamental truths. AD on the radio, on Twitter at ADSXE. Every day you're going and working, running that rat race is that pace in that place. We'll leave a bad taste for anyone, everyone working day after day. So, buddy, I gotta say, for you, there's gotta be a better way. Yeah, and you do what they told you. Company man, bullet, a mindless little. 
Michael Sosa. How can you live like that and maintain your composure? Before it's begun, your life's already freaking over. Yeah, I do what I want, do when I want. It's AD in for the vacationing doghouse on Talk 910. Ably assisted by super producer to the stars, Barry Funkhauser. Joining the conversation at ADSXE is where you can tweet yours truly. You can tweet him at FunkFM. So Brexit. Brexit is uh, England leaving, well, the Great, Great Britain leaving the European Union. And what drove the unthinkable, them deciding to bail, or at least by referendum vote, which is really a vote that was uh, put in by the people of the United Kingdom and is meaningless until this thing called Article 50 is triggered and England officially makes its exit from the European Union. But nevertheless, the thing that drove the Leave victory were issues of immigration and social programs and socialized medicine. Now, in England, in England, not only do they have the National Health Service, not only do they have the National Health Service, which is, well, it's socialized medicine. Growing up there, oh, and I remember, I remember having this argument. I remember having this argument with, uh, I was doing talk radio in Texas with a couple of right-wing libertarian types, very good friends of mine, but absolutely anti-Obamacare and socialized medicine, all about and taking personal, personal responsibility for yourself and uh, dealing with your own problems in your own way. And... I was talking about socialized medicine when it was becoming an issue, and I was like, I don't know. I, I grew up in England, and the only experience I've had with socialized medicine with the National Health Service in England was a good one. And like, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to... No. And I was like, really? Oh, 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 really? You're going <laughs> to... I'm sorry. Did you live there? Were you in a hospital bed numerous times as a child because you had some weird stomach issue that caused you to be admitted to an emergency room on multiple occasions? Did they have a bed for you, and were they able to eventually fix you and send you on your way so you could live your life? No, you weren't? Oh, well, I was. And so, I get that. I understand it. Now, my experience of the National Health Service comes from when I was a kid growing up in England in the 90s when there was very little going on there compared to now in terms of immigration. But they have all these social programs in place, like the National Health Service. Like, man, it it was an interesting one because I could never bring myself to do it. I could never bring myself to do it, but there's this thing there called the dole, signing on to the dole. And essentially, it's their version of welfare, but it doesn't really carry the stigma of welfare with it. It's just a bit more of a done thing. You get out of college, you don't have a job yet, you're looking for a job, you go on this form of welfare called the dole. And I could just never, I could never do it. And I remember talking to someone, a a government official there, about this. They're like, you should totally do it. Your parents have been here forever. They've been paying into this system. This is what it's for, to help you make your way in the world. Yeah, there's people that abuse it, but, you know, this is what it's there. It's there for you to use. You should use it. And I just couldn't bring myself to do it, but it is there. There's also this stuff called housing benefit, where uh, they can help you pay your rent. If you have a job, lose a job, well... They're going to help you cover part of your rent. Not all of it. You don't get to live for free. But they're going to subsidize you until you manage to get yourself back up on your feet again so you don't lose your entire way of life. On the flippity-flop of that sort of situation, which seems interesting and healthy and helpful in a lot of ways, you got people that will abuse the system until there's no tomorrow. They really will. It's a very bad problem they've got over here. And not only that, over there, rather. And not only that, but taxes are outrageous. The taxes that you got to pay on a liter of petrol to make your car go places make it cost prohibitive for a lot of people I know to take car journeys. Eh, Can't afford the petrol. It's a bit much. Taking the train instead. So there you have it. There you go. There's extensive social programs in a place like England. And part of what drove... The idea of England exiting from the European Union is the idea of immigration. A lot of it compared to, like I said, when I was a kid, at an all-time high. And so you have people coming in to the country that all of a sudden, because they have maybe an EU stamp in their passport or they've managed to immigrate into a country that is in the European Union, they can come there and they can then get 
access to these benefits. Now, the logic behind the benefits is if you haven't been paying them to them for a long time, your parents have. And what a lot of folks have been running into is like, what do you mean there's not enough for me? What do you mean there's not a hospital bed for me? Who's in it? Someone that just arrived in this country a little while ago and hasn't been paying into the system for a very long time the way I have and my family has? That's not fair. That's not right. I'm mad. What do we do about it? Enter folks like, well, it's, there's two guys in England that are essentially the the English versions of Donald Trump. One, Boris Johnson, who is the former mayor of London, who gets the Trump comparison a lot, I think, just because he's got crazy hair. <laughs> He, too, looks like he was stuck upside down into a cotton candy machine for a little while and uh, went, that looks good. Let's go with that. And then Nigel Farage, the leader of a political party over there called UKIP, who is a financial guy that has been saying, we got to get out of the European Union for the past 25 years. And so you have folks, you have folks that have a lot of the same grievances as we do. The job market, much tougher. American jobs being sent overseas, English jobs being given to folks overseas, decline in living standard, decline in availability of hospital beds and general practitioners. And so what you got was a lot of people that had a lot of things to be justifiably upset about handed a very simple explanation of how this could be better. Vote leave. We get out of the European Union. We're not going to be allowing as many people into the country. That will help with our immigration problems. That will help with the pockets of communities in England that are all about Sharia law. That's uncomfortable for everybody. Don't care who you are, what your religious predilection is when you're trying to walk down the street and live your life. No matter how tolerant you are, being told if you're a woman to cover yourself because the fact that I can see your face, the fact that I can see your ankles, the fact that I can see your knees is sending you straight to hell like the whore you are, that's not a good situation for anyone to be in. And that's something that exists in England in ways that it does not over here, at least not that I'm aware of. So you have an upset, disenfranchised group of folks that are not getting the things that they and their family have been paying into with inordinately high taxes for years and years at a time. And along comes some people to say, hey, we'll just leave the European Union and uh, that'll close off our borders. We'll have less people getting access to our hospital beds and social programs and there's going to be more for you. And not only that, but we've got all these trade deals in place where we're sending untold billions of pounds to the European Union as a result of us being part of it. And we're not going to have to pay that anymore. And we'll just dump it straight back into the National Health Service. So there'll be general practitioners and hospital beds for all. And then it happened. Leave one by a very slim margin of 51 to 49%. And a lot of people woke up the next morning saying, uh, wait a second. This is very different than what was described to us only yesterday. And like I said, there's a lesson for all of us in this. We'll get to it next. It's Talk 910 AD and for the Doghouse. Thank you for hanging out. Now, and up three and a half minutes. 10 Traffic Center. South 880 at Montague. CHP still clearing up an accident from the left lane. Traffic slow from the Great Mall Parkway past the accident scene out to 101. A new problem just popped up. North 280 at Westboro. Two-car fender bender off to the right-hand shoulder. Just a reminder, the Lakeville Highway is shut down in both directions for a big rig fire that caused a grass fire and a tree fire. That's going to take a while to clear. With your Talk 910 Traffic, I'm Dina Lawrence. This report is brought to you by Compassion International. Almost one billion children around the world live in extreme poverty. You can change or even save the life of one of those kids when you become a sponsor with Compassion International. Find out how you can help at Compassion.com slash radio. 
Wow, I wish I hadn't used a match to check the gas tank. Well, I wish there was a station on the iHeartRadio app that played all the songs I've thumbed up. Yeah, that'd be nice too. Your wish has come true. Our iHeartRadio app now has My Favorites Radio. Every song you thumb up from your favorite stations is added to one personal station. Your station. My Favorites Radio. iHeartRadio. All your favorite music. All your favorite stations. All free. Use our iHeartRadio app today or listen online at iHeartRadio.com. At NBC Bay Area, we investigate to hold the powerful accountable. Now we're expanding our resources to solve your consumer problems. Introducing NBC Bay Area Response. I'm consumer investigator Chris Kamora. We'll investigate your complaints, hold businesses accountable, and return your money. Contact our Consumer Investigative Center at 888-996-TIPS or send us an email at NBCBayArea.com slash response. We'll respond to every call, every email. NBC Bay Area. We investigate. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. With a call to National Tax Helpline, you can stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs, you may qualify for substantial savings. So get the help you need. If you owe the IRS 10000 or more, call now for free information and to see if you qualify. Take down the number now for the tax helpline. 800-479-8520. That's 800-479-8520 for free information. 800-479-8520. That's 800-479-8520. 8520. Whatever your plans are for upcoming 4th of July weekend, the San Francisco Police Officers Association would like to remind everyone listening, if you or someone you know has had too much to drink, please have a sober friend drive or call a cab. Remember, it's not only your own life you may be saving, but also lives of others, so please never drink and drive. Brought to you by the staff and members of the San Francisco Police Officers Association. For more information about the good work of the San Francisco Police do for all our community, visit them online at sfcitycops.com. That's San Francisco Police Officers Association wishing everyone a safe and happy 4th of July. And Shamrock Pool Fire. Oh, did you say something, ma'am? And everyone listening, no, like never let your chill, children swim unattended. Use right. the buddy system. Oh, okay. Where you can't see the bottom and stay out of deep water if you're not an experienced swimmer. Brought to you by Shamrock Pool Fiberglass, an eco-friendly contractor that provides superior pool and spa resurfacing. For more information, call 925-284-7401 or visit online today at shamrockpoolfiberglass.com. The Alan Combs Show, weeknights 7 till 10. And you can take him with you wherever you go, because Talk 910 is an iHeart radio station. It's now 531 at Talk 910 on Valor Ground. A mountain climber is recovering from injuries this afternoon after falling down a cliff at Mount Diablo State Park. The incident happened just after noon today. Rescue crews with a helicopter collected the climber from where he fell and transported him to a hospital. There's no word on his condition. Lakeville Road could remain closed until 8 o'clock tonight after a deadly big rig fire this morning east of Petaluma. CHP investigators say the vehicle fire was reported around 1145 on southbound Lakeville Road just south of Old Lakeville Road Number 2. The roadway remains closed in both directions between 37 and 116 as that cleanup continues. Well, Toyota is recalling nearly 3 million cars over emission control units on the heels of announcing a recall due to possible airbag defects. Wednesday's recall affects Prius, Aris, Compact, Hatchback, and Corollas produced from 2006 to 2015. It follows Tuesday's announcement of about 1.5 million cars needing repairs over a possible problem with airbag inflation. Well, dense coastal fog again overnight. It's going to be clearing tomorrow afternoon, looking at high 60s to about that mid-90s range inland. I'm Valerie Grant, and he's in for the vacationing. Here we go. D on Talk 910. Don't get the blues, get all the news. We mean all of you. Skies out there in Radio Land. All aboard! He's back. AD on the radio. Give it up, yeah. Give it up, yeah. Bring this on, bring this on. Come on, come on. Here I come again, coming again to 
Oh my gosh, Funkhauser. Valerie, Gl- Valerie Grant, intimidatingly professional broadcaster. Like, so slick, so smooth. I was just saying that, like, here, it's weird to have a news person. That's not yeah. me. I'm not used to professional. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, just, I mean, our news is really just us goofing on the headlines. That's actual, like, news. You, you know what? When I first started working in radio and I started, like, meeting folks that worked in traffic and news and things of that nature, it's, it doesn't matter what they look like. Birkenstock wearing granola eating <laughs> hippies with giant holes in the butts of their jeans. That's not Valerie. I don't, I, I've never seen Valerie. But you hear all these people on the air and you automatically just assume they're wearing a tie, not a fish shirt with a bunch of holes in it. <laughs> like, so it's always just incredible for me to meet these incredibly slick professional broadcasters that do radio news, but can, you know, look however they want to. It's just the, 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 a voice like Valerie's is so authoritative and so awesome. And th- th- like I said, intimidatingly impressive broadcasting that we are uh, privileged to be sharing <laughs> some time with here today on talk 910 as we are in for the vacationing doghouse who are off uh on their fourth of july vacation i wonder if they're doing that whole thing where they spend time with family the uh (laughs) time with family always comes with interesting challenges especially during the holidays my favorite holiday is the fourth of july when i was 10 years old my brothers were 13 and 14 it's the fourth of july and our parents said hey they're old enough to be left alone by themselves wrong (laughs) <laughs> now, we're not out of have any, but in retrospect, they just would have given us some sparklers. None of this would have happened. <laughs> we find a black cat firework. We tried to light it. Turns out the wick is wet. Us three Einsteins say, hey, let's pour gasoline on the wick. <laughs> that ought to do it. Yeah. My brother Brad comes running out with that lawn mowing gasoline can, and he pours it right at the same time. My brother Andy decides to light a match. The flame catches the stream of the gasoline. It's shooting up to the can. Brad's only defense is to run away, pouring liquid fire all over the driveway. Oh, God! (laughs) And to top it off, Brad throws the gasoline can. That's a Molotov cocktail that just got hurtled through the air. Uh, Yeah, good times. Family, Mm. growing up, holidays. Takes me back. (laughs) Uh, Yes, propensity for disaster. Speaking of which, do you notice that incredibly smooth Ooh, radio segue? Speaking of propensity for disaster, we've gotten to the point in our story where Brexit, the exit of the United Kingdom from the European Union, has been voted and passed. Well, not passed yet, but the referendum is essentially the opinion of the people. It is the will of the people. Very slim margin, 51% to 49%. And as we said, and folks in Great Britain were sold an incredibly slim, simplistic bill of goods. Hey, you know, all your problems that you are right to air grievances about, the fact that it's tougher to get a job, it's tougher to get a hospital bed, it's tougher for all these things. If we, uh, if we, if we bail on the European Union, it'll allow us to get rid of the immigrants and it'll allow us to stop paying trade agreement dollars and pounds and euros to a different country and we can funnel all that back into you. And you wake up the next day, if you're in England, and you voted for that, and you go, okay, we won, we won. Why is everything noticeably worse? I can't believe it. (laughs) And you're in this weird situation where consumer confidence dips, people get scared, markets crash. Nigel Farage and Boris Johnson and economic indicators everywhere go, yeah, there's probably going to be a recession. It's not going to be because of this. And this is a country that's been told to tighten their belts and tighten their belts. Again, they have this thing called austerity measures in England, which basically is like, nah, we're going to be poor. Get used to it. There's less to go around. Get used to it. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, this vote to leave doesn't look like that great of an idea. Now, what's interesting is if you talk to Americans, if you talk to right-wing folks, if you talk to libertarian folks, from the outside looking in, they're, they're, they're seeing this and going, this is awesome. This is awesome. Anytime constitutionalist types, anytime 
people that are into the idea of individual liberty hear of a situation where someone has managed to free themselves from the shackles of bureaucracy and regulation, they say, this is awesome. And you know what? The exit from the European Union may very well work out to be awesome. But if it does, no one's really going to know. The dust from this isn't going to settle for probably another decade, even longer. Because who knows what happens after this? Europe might have just become the Wild West. But before anything can happen, things are getting progressively worse at a rate of knots over there. They really are. People have woken up to the reality of the fact that we're a country without a leader. David Cameron, their prime minister, bailed. He was like, hey, uh, this might be the will of the people. I don't think this is... uh, I don't think... I'm the right guy for this job anymore. If this is really what you want, it's so diametrically opposed to what I think is common sense. This won't be a thing. I won't be a part of it. So I'm going to bail on the whole idea of being a prime minister. We have no leader. we got to figure out who the next prime minister is going to be. And then Article 50 has to be triggered. Article 50 being the obscure document that uh, has to be triggered before a country can leave the European Union. And not only that, The remaining countries in the European Union, all 28 of them, I think, is what the last count was, have to agree to the terms of England's exit. Part of the reason they wanted the bail on the European Union is the drawn-out, time-and-money-wasting bureaucratic process by which it is run. That's going to take a long time. So before people even have any sense of an idea of how things are going to change, and if it's really going to live up to what it is they thought they were voting for when they were sold an incredibly simplistic bill of goods, they are in a very weird and very volatile and very unfun spot all of a sudden. And therein lies the lesson for all of us. If you don't like the way your life looks, and you are of the opinion that we really are faced with a bit of a Sophie's choice when it comes to our options for pulling the lever of democracy to put a new person into the White House in uh, 2017. Well then, the thing to bear in mind is that it always, always falls to you. And this is what people in England have had a rude awakening to. Different political parties might be in power. Different leaders will come and go. Some will be good, some will be bad, some will be self-serving, some will be crazy. It was funny when you saw Jerry Seinfeld interview Obama on comedians in cars getting coffee. He asked him, he's like, how many world leaders are just freaking nuts? Obama was like, ah, a lot of them. So all this is going to change. And all this is going to be volatile. And there never really will be one set way of doing things for a nation. And even if there is, it probably won't be the way that suits you. Things are going to change. They're going to morph over time. The terrain that you are forced to navigate in your life is a constantly evolving thing. And as always in these situations, it's not about an elected official. It's not about policy that is written in it's not about which leader comes and goes as always and as much as we'd like to think there was something else that could help us in these situations as always it's going to come down to you it's ad in for the vacationing doghouse on talk 910 joining the conversation at adsxe Now, an update from the Talk 910 Traffic Center. Some trouble spots around the Bay Area. We've got five minutes. Still about an hour and a half drive, northbound 680, Mission Boulevard south out to Highway 84 and stop traffic. It's about an hour eastbound Highway 4 from Morello out to Port Chicago from an earlier problem there. And about a 45-minute drive eastbound 24 and stop traffic from the 580-980 split out to the Caldecott. With your Talk 910 Traffic Center. Hey, are you still there? This report is brought to you by Lead. 
Does your child struggle to concentrate and pay attention? What looks like ADD or autism may actually be caused by lead poisoning. Lead is a neurotoxin. It can cause permanent brain damage. Find out how to protect your family. Go to leadsafeamerica.org. Hurt in an accident? Not sure about who to call? Waiting can cost you. The law requires that accident victims assert their damage claims promptly. I put off calling a lawyer. I almost missed that deadline. Thank goodness I called when I did. I nearly lost out on thousands of dollars. Call 855-74-RADIO. Your claim could be worth more than you know. We were in a bad wreck. The other driver said he didn't have insurance. My lawyer found out that guy was driving for a business. With the lawyer's help, we got money we never realized we could get. If you've been hurt in a traffic accident, on the job, at a store, office, or construction site, you could be entitled to a big cash award. Call 855-74-RADIO. That's 855-74-RADIO. The call was free. We got the help we needed and the money we deserved. Call now. 855-74-RADIO. That's 855-74-RADIO. Sponsored by Lead Circle LLC. If you are suffering from chronic pain and tired of failed treatments and taking too many pills, then relief starts now. I'm Dr. Peter Abaji, and my new book, Conquer Your Chronic Pain, is here to empower you with a life-changing approach to end the suffering and start living again. Buy it now wherever books are sold. The sub above difference is grilled. Because if you're making a cheesesteak and you're not using a hot grill to make it, well, you're not making a cheesesteak. Give our grill a go. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Paul Blanco's Good Car Company has nearly 1,000 nearly new vehicles to choose from. Toyota to Lexus, BMW, Ford, Honda, and Mercedes. Priced mostly from 10 to 20 grand. And we finance working people with incomes as low as $450 a week. Many with repos, delinquent credit cards, family issues, new in town, or have trouble proving income. I clean houses so I get paid in cash and I still got approved. Let nearly 100 lenders compete to approve you. Then choose from almost 1,000 vehicles only at paulblanco.com. Imagine a place on Earth that's less explored than the moon, where sunlight is scarce, but colorful creatures thrive. It can only be reached using highly specialized equipment. Scientists call it the Twilight Zone, and now they're sharing its mysteries with you. Twilight Zone, deep reefs revealed at the California Academy of Sciences. Get tickets at calacademy.org. Give your employees the power to do their best work with new, powerfully performing Dell Latitude Business Class laptops and two-in-ones. Now with Windows 10, the fastest, smoothest, and most secure Windows ever. Your team can reduce downtime by 50% and boost productivity with four times faster performance and three times more battery life. Learn more at dell.com slash radio. That's Dell.com slash radio. You check things all the time, like your email every 10 seconds or your ex's Instagram. But what about checking something as important as your credit? Well, Discover makes it quick, easy, and best of all, free. In fact, Discover is the only major credit card to offer FICO credit scores to everyone for free. Even if you're not a customer, we call it the Discover Credit Scorecard. And once you know your score, you should check to see if your current credit card is the best fit for you. Check your credit. Compare your card. Go to discover.com slash credit scorecard. Limitations apply. Attention, Xarelto and Pradaxa users. If you or a loved one has taken Xarelto or Pradaxa and suffered an injury or even died, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Xarelto and Pradaxa are prescribed blood thinners used to prevent blood clots and protect people from strokes. If you have taken Xarelto or Pradaxa and been hospitalized for internal bleeding, call now, 800-298-6297. Serious bleeding is led to numerous cases of hospitalization and death. If you or a loved one was hospitalized for serious internal bleeding or a stroke after taking Xarelto or Pradaxa, you could be entitled to substantial financial compensation. Don't be a silent victim. Time is limited to file your claim. Call now for free information and a free consultation. Call 800-298-6297. That's 800-298-6297. Again, 800-298-6297. This is an advertisement. Paid non-attorney spokesperson. Injuryhelpdesk.com is responsible for this advertisement. Principal Office Las Vegas, Nevada. 
Talk 910 is available anywhere you go on the iHeartRadio app. Download it now. Coming up at 6 in the Mo Kelly Experience. It's the best of Mo Kelly. Today we listen back to my conversation with the world-renowned life strategist, Tony Robbins. It's a conversation that you simply must hear. Simple lessons to change. I'll give you a five-second countdown. Your wealth. It's the best of Mo Kelly. Coming up at 6. But right now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, more AD on the radio. Did we just get shouted out by Mo Kelly? I was going to say, man, that's so cool. Uh it's, you know, they really roll out the red carpet for us here at Talk 910. Couldn't be more stoked to be a part of this station. It's so cool. So humble. Yeah. Thank you so much to everybody that's been a part of this as we uh, as we make a mockery of the sense of consummate professionalism you have come to associate with a vacationing doghouse's time slot. Thank you to Corey for having us on, for Valerie Grant to making us sound slick and professional a way that we are clearly not. Thank you for 10. Thank you to 10 for holding things down in the control room. Funkhauser, thank you. Hey, I we're going to be this Elvis and JV. tomorrow too, right? Yeah, yeah, this will happen again oh, yeah. tomorrow. Well, we, we, we think it'll happen tomorrow. We've been told it'll happen to go tomorrow, maybe based Fingers on what crossed. happened here today. <laughs> tomorrow, not so much. Uh, we have to thank Elvis for getting us on the station yeah. at all. Michelle Lynn, the digital program director who I used to work with when we were both in Houston. She, uh, she ran down the hall and extolled our virtues and Bill and Matt over at Premiere. Uh, have we thanked everybody? I think that's it. I mean, have we made ourselves Brandy? Meet, seem, we uh, thank her too. She intern, oh, doing yeah, other yeah. research today. <laughs> thank you so much to our intern Brandy Aniston. She, uh, we might hear from her tomorrow on the show if she's available. So, thank you so much to everybody, and thank you for listening. Look, Funkhauser and I do what we do because we're honestly trying to sort of move the ball of humanity down the field a little bit. You might have detected in this show that, well, we may lean right, we may lean left. But ultimately, what we're trying to do is, I don't know, perhaps settle everybody down. Settle everybody down a little bit. Come together over the fact that we're all Americans, we're all human beings. We all, for the most part, want the same things. Even if you radically disagree with the way that I think is the best way to get there. I'm guessing all Americans kind of want the same stuff. You want to be able to put a roof over your head. If you have a family, you want to be able to provide for them in some way, shape, or form. You want kids that have a shot in this world. You want to be able to do work every single day that you in some way find meaningful. And if we all want that, I think that's an important thing to keep in mind. Because if we're all headed in that direction, just have different ideas about the best way to get there. If we come from a place of respect and can talk to each other and not dismiss one another, well, then there's a much better chance. There is a much better chance of us getting there. There's a much better chance of, oh, I don't know, maybe even learning something from somebody that believes or thinks differently than we do. I can go into a room full of people that think the same thing I do and evangelize all day and get slaps on the back and probably drive a much nicer car and live in a much nicer house. But that doesn't do anything for us as a species. It doesn't move that ball of humanity further down the field. We live in a world where we're, I think mostly because of the fact that we're in the digital age, where we've become a nation that is obsessed with snappy, insulting, quippy cultures of one-upmanship. You notice all the headlines, right? When you're just, you know, trying to check your email and eight bazillion pop-ups are there. And it's all about who gets the last word. This Hispanic grad student shuts down the immigration argument in 43 seconds. This Eagle Scout proves gun grabbers wrong with two tweets. And 
You know how uh, you get really up in the game if you're trying to become president of these United States of America? <laughs> Talk about how impressive your hand size is. Talk about what you got going on south of the equator, what you're packing in the, own, in the old pantalonis, and be really good at your mama jokes. You know how you get really up in the game in terms of becoming a person that may very likely be in the White House in the new year? You do it like this. I'm not a fan of Megyn Kelly. I think she's a third-rate reporter. This dopey guy, Glenn Beck. Jeb Bush, we call him low energy. Lion Hillary, that lion. <laughs> she is a lion. Don't worry about it, little Marco. Lion Ted Cruz. Crooked Hillary. Crazy Bernie, he's crazy as a bed bug. Pocahontas, Elizabeth Warren. She's the worst. Mitt Romney is a stiff. And he walks like a penguin. Hillary Clinton is a disaster. This wacky socialist guy, Bernie. He's an ignorant president. The total incompetent jerk. He's a sleaze, in my book. She's a basket case, the biggest ears I've ever seen. She's got a big mouth. He's a choke artist. This guy's a choke artist, and this guy's a liar. He's a bad person, folks. She's a nasty person. He's a nasty guy. He's a nasty guy. Nobody likes him. He looks like a jerk. Child molester. She said he's a... She's a goofus. She is a goofus. A little mouth on him. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> so 10 out of 10 for, like I said, being good at snaps. I went and saw... I, this is why I like to watch Trump. You know who I saw play the other day, Funkhauser? You remember Farside? Rap group Farside? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're so good. And the song that made me fall in love with that band was, of course, Ya Mama. Your mama's so fat. How fat is she? Your mama is so big and fat that she could get busy with 42 burritos when times was rough. I seen your mama in the back of Taco Bell with handcuffs, which is genius Ooh, in and of itself. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's clever. We like to be clever and witty, but we're doing it to the detriment of our humanity. Leave that up to the far side. It's not what we want, I don't think from people that are taking a serious stab at being president. I want to finish up with the work of G-Star Swain. Know who that is? Vice principal from Florida who was visiting the Lincoln Memorial in Washington. Noticed there were some killer acoustics there and wanted to test it out. So spontaneously burst into song by singing this. Absolutely incredible. And if you're like me, you get chills listening to something like that. Not just because this vice principal from Florida can sing her sweet patootie off, but because, well, do you know if she's a Republican or a Democrat? No, you don't. You're not really sure. You just know that in a moment of spontaneous pride for the country that she lives in, she managed to galvanize all of us. And especially going into the 4th of July weekend. I, for one, I'm going to focus my attention on things like that. Thank you so much for hanging out. We'll be back tomorrow. We hope we'll do it all over again. Have yourself a great night. Now, an update from the talk. Uh, thank you. New problem coming in for Santa South. Are you got to? Uh, you got to drop it on your side. Uh, on cool, shoulder. Good. Traffic already thank stop you. and go out of Sunnyvale. San Rafael North 101 at North San Pedro. Two car accident moved off to the right hand side.